making salmon cooked in a parchment paper pouch. Uh, we need salmon, obviously, and then some vegetables. Zucchini at the bottom. Sprinkle some salt and pepper on the zucchini. Some olive oil. Okay. Then put your salmon on top of it with the remaining salt and pepper on your salmon. Diced ginger, diced garlic. Spring onion. I have some bell pepper here to give a nice color. And a piece of lemon slice. Another splash of olive oil. And then fold the paper over. And then you start with on one side and fold in triangle. A small triangle. And what you're trying to do is to seal the pouch. So you fold it really tightly. It's like origami when we're a kid. Bake the envelopes in a preheated oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Bake it for 15 minutes and then rest it for 5 minutes. The juices from the vegetable and salmon are kept in the pouch and the salmon is moist and flavorful. You can use the same method to cook different kinds of fish. I have a piece of tuna here, and I use the same ingredients, except I use fish sauce and soy sauce instead of salt. You can use this method to cook white fish. White fish tends to have a delicate texture, and this method would protect the fish in a pouch. If you use a thinner piece of fish, then you should cut your vegetables thinner and reduce the cooking time. This piece of tuna is quite thick, so I bake it for 15 minutes and then rest it for 5 minutes. So it's just barely cooked, which is great. You don't want your tuna to be fully cooked or it is very tough. 